Welcome to Air Emergency Simply Explained. In today's video, we will be looking into the crash of UPS Airlines Flight 6. September 3, 2010. UPS Airlines Flight 6, a Boeing 747-400F, takes off from Dubai in the United Arab Emirates to Cologne, Germany. On board is Captain Douglas Lampy and First Officer Matthew Bell. Flight 6 cruises at 31,000 feet. As the 747 flies above Bahrain airspace, an alarm warns a fire in the forward area of the main cargo deck. Bahrain Center is informed of the fire and tells the pilots that Doha is 100 miles away. But Captain Lampy informs the controller that they would prefer to return to Dubai. The fire suppression system is activated, and the cargo hold is depressurized. However, the aircraft's computer tells the pilots that the fire is spreading further. The pilots wear their oxygen masks, but because the microphones in the oxygen masks are not properly configured, the pilots have difficulty communicating with air traffic control. The problem is eventually solved, but smoke now begins entering the cockpit. The pilots also realize that they have lost elevator control. The fire has burned through the cables, connecting the control wheel to the elevators. Captain Lampy attempts to re-engage the autopilot in the hopes that the autopilot still has elevator controls. But the smoke in the cockpit is so thick that the pilots can no longer see their instruments. Despite the odds, the autopilot is re-engaged and the aircraft stabilizes. Flight 6 is about to enter Dubai airspace. Bahrain controllers inform the UAE controllers of the emergency. The pilot attempts to program the autopilot to get them to the airport. They hope that they can get the autopilot to intercept the ILS for runway 12L. As the aircraft enters Dubai airspace, Bahrain gives the pilots the frequency to contact the UAE controllers. However, because of the thick smoke, the pilots are unable to tune in the new radio frequency. They are forced to remain in contact with the Bahrain controllers. The Bahrain controllers asks the UAE controllers to monitor Flight 6 on their radar and then send Bahrain updates. The fire has now burned through Captain Lampy's oxygen supply. He is forced to leave his seat in order to get the emergency oxygen system in the rear of the cockpit. However, he fails to return. First Officer Matthew Bell is now all alone. Another problem arises as Flight 6 is now almost out of Bahrain Center's radio range. Aircrafts flying between Flight 6 and Bahrain acts as a relay station in order for Flight 6 to continue communicating with Bahrain. However, as each relay aircraft also leaves the frequency, Bahrain controllers scramble to find another aircraft to fill in as the relay. The Dubai Royal Air Wing's own 747, Dubai 1, is eventually selected to act as a relay. First Officer Bell needs all the help he can get. But with the information coming from Dubai having to go through Bahrain and Dubai 1 before reaching Flight 6, the information First Officer Bell receives quickly becomes outdated. But despite the odds, First Officer Bell manages to get within reach of Dubai International Airport. He activates the autopilot's ILS mode in order for the autopilot to fly the aircraft down to the runway. Flight 6 manages to line up with runway 12L. However, the aircraft is too high. First Officer Bell is asked if he can perform a 360-degree turn to lose altitude, but the First Officer reports that he cannot do so. Nonetheless, Matthew Bell does not give up. He increases the aircraft's rate of descent, and through feel, he extends the flaps and attempts to lower the landing gear. But as he does so, an alarm sounds off that the landing gear did not extend. Flight 6 overshoots Dubai International Airport. Bahrain controllers attempt to vector Flight 6 to Sharjah International Airport, a mere 10 miles away. Dubai 1 tells First Officer Bell to turn left to a heading of 095. However, First Officer Bell unknowingly turns the autopilot heading knob to 195. 
This causes Flight 6 to turn to the right instead. The first officer disconnects the autopilot and tries to correct his course. But the aircraft has lost all pitch control. Flight 6 enters a shallow but high-speed descent and crashes near the Nad al-Sheba military camp. Both pilots are killed. Investigators discovered that Flight 6 was carrying a large amount of lithium batteries. Several of the batteries that were discovered were found to have been defective. This caused the batteries to explode due to auto-ignition. As a result of the accident, the Federal Aviation Administration issued an advisory to restrict the number of lithium batteries allowed on airliners. More fire-resilient cargo containers were also developed to prevent fires from spreading. UPS Airlines also implemented full-faced oxygen masks and smoke hoods to better help pilots see in a smoke-filled cockpit. That is it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more Simply Explained Air Emergency videos.